Shalom, family. All esteem to Yahuwah, our King Yahusha Hamashiach, in whom we have access to the Father, Yahuwah, through blessings and praises unto his Kodesh name, for he is the master of masters, and I'm humbled as a servant to serve him. Hallelujah. I just want to take this time to speak on the Hebrew word for submission, right? Sub, under, mit, or mission, right? Um, this word is the Hebrew word repesh. Resh, pay, samik. Hallelujah. Repesh. Hallelujah. Or some people pronounce it repesh, right? Um, this word goes back to the two parent letter root, right? Resh. Samic, which will take you to the wine press, right? When our ancestors would take a bull through a, 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 a barn that has grains and fruits and, and those bulls, those oxen would crush the heads of those grains causing a, a wine, right? Causing a juice to flow, right? Well, ultimately this word, when you add the pay to the resh and the samic, you get the idea of, watch this, a stomping out with words. Now I want you to pause for a second and perceive that it's not necessarily like you're being chewed out without purpose. It's ultimately allowing the Ruach of Yah to put an imprint on you. Because when you look at the specific definition of submission Hebraically, the word repesh, it literally goes back to a, a, a watch this, a stomping through water causing the water to be muddy so there's now an imprint of mud in the water from the one of higher authority walking through the water this is how we are to be when it comes to the ruach we are now supposed to have the imprint of the ruach when the ruach gives us instructions and guides us and speaks to us in a matter that we are able to now exert the power the authority given to us from watch this the word that was spoken to us so that's the power in words the ruach was just, you know been ministering you know don't pierce back not a why because our words contain weight and power watch this they contain substance they contain a mission from powers and that's ultimately the what the will of yah is it's his desire it's his mission so when you submit to the words that are being spoken to you by abba yahuwah that's how one acquires gains wisdom which is an accumulation of experiences that now allows you to be able to maneuver and operate in a way that allows you to advance according to his will. Hallelujah. Understanding, now you're able to discern a matter in a situation which still ties in with wisdom, but it all goes back to you first being able to submit. Get underneath this mission, to get underneath this word, to get underneath this direction. Hallelujah. The pointing of Abba Yahuwah's finger hallelujah when it comes to his will for our lives in any and every area that's what submission is now let's talk about what submission is not submission is not with these camps and what you know the uh, uh the people in, in in the muslim world you know a lot of them you know i ain't say all of them but some of them most of them right how they treat their wives right they think it's the idea of stomp her out right cuss her out you know don't don't do nothing but wash my clothes and 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 cook for me and 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 take care of me in the bed and shut up like no that's that's not submission right it's not submission that's that's not that's 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 actually uh that's bondage actually and yes as a head you are technically a master but it's in it's it's as re, as a representation of Yahushua HaMashiach right so no you're not bounding your woman, you're 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 actually praising her in the sense of seeing her as the righteous counsel that Abba Yahuwah gave you to help you navigate through this life and being one with you. That's what Ephesians 5 tells you about your wife, about your Isha, your woman, right? She is the she is the co-pilot in the plane Abba Yahuwah put you in in this earth realm. Hallelujah. Now, with that being said, 
the Ruach is supposed to be able to speak through you to your Isha and through your Isha to you. So what do both of y'all got to do? Submit to the Ruach. Be under the authority, under the power of what the Ruach is speaking. And as a head, it's your job, your obligation to be seeking Abba Yahuwah on the direction for your house and for your family. And if you're not doing that, guess what? Yahuwah is going to give that opportunity for your Isha to do that. Which, hallelujah, if you're not, it should motivate you to be able to do that, but you shouldn't despise it. And I'm just letting the Ruach flow, man, because this submission thing is deep. It's being under the authority, being imprinted, allowing Abba Yahuwah to stomp you out so that now you have his imprint on you. So you're unrecognizable to the world, but you're walking in powers. Hallelujah. Just want to be obedient, share that, repesh. It's the Hebrew word for submit, to be under the authority, under the power, so that you can now walk in powers. Hallelujah. But you have shalom. Love you all. We'll talk more soon as the Ruach leads. Shalom.